Hello guys, my name is Crinoline Kiriago, introducing Lifestyle Hacks with Crinoline. Come, let's talk about your relationship, your dating, your health, your gender, your masculinity, your toxic relationship and every other thing that surrounds your lifestyle. Join me every other Wednesday at Ikonga TV as we discuss all other issues surrounding your lifestyle. This is Obare Jr. Your co-host, Asif Viper, will be hosting this show every Wednesday live from Ikonga TV. Catch us live every Wednesday. Uh, his biggest failure, something that affected his life up to now, maybe about his very rough childhood, about his um, such things, his family that is totally apart. If a man is telling you such things about his life, then um, he is serious. I've got a question. Too. Okay. But you know these pieces of men can lie to you and make it all up. And make it all up. Yeah. They I can know. cry and still be lying. Uh, exactly. I know men who cry when they are apologizing to you. When they're telling you, I am so sorry, I did not mean to do that to you. I'm not talking about that side of there are those that can manipulate you emo emotionally. Mm -hmm. They know if I tell her this, she is going to fall head over heels for me. Okay. She's you know, we, we, we ladies I think we have this motherly instincts or natural instincts. Okay. We feel everything. Mm -hmm. We empathize with people. Mm -hmm. So here comes the guy that tells me, Oh, you know, my mother died, oh you know, I've had undergone a rough childhood mm -hmm. because this guy has studied you over a period of time. He knows that if I tell her this, mm -hmm. she's going to feel so sorry, sorry for me. Yeah? Okay. And then after feeling so sorry or yeah, let's say sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, after feeling so sorry, mm -hmm. eh, you might decide to want to try and cover up that one. He might be emotionally trying to blackmail you so that you get works. So how yeah. can you differentiate from someone who is trying to be emotionally manipulative? Mm -hmm. Or how would you know that this person is telling you the truth? This person is not lying to me to get to me. Because people do that. To get to you. Yes. Because kuna mwenye mm. atakuja alia, atapologize na alia, 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 alia. Kuna mwenye atakupatia story, akilia. But at the end of the day, <laughs> give him a word. You were talking about consistency. Yeah. Akitoka hapo, you know, maybe atakukola after one month, two months. But hi, I've just been checking on you. I'm, mm. just, checking, I'm just checking on you. I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you. That is someone that wants commitment. But how can you distinguish? How will you know that? This guy is going for commitment. This guy is not taking it for a ride because we need to differentiate that. So how do you go about it? Uh, in my opinion, we cannot just rest on one point and say that um, it's all about him being um, him opening up to you. Uh, it's about all these points we're talking about. He is opening up. He is still being consistent with you. He's respect. He is respecting you. One hundred respect is very paramount. That is why I say it as the first point. If a man is losing respect to you in a, any small way, or touching you in a way that you do not want, and you say no, drop it. Don't even think twice about a man who's not respecting you. So it's about all these points put together that, uh, in my opinion, will bring out. Serious man, not just um, one point. I also wanted to say something mm -hmm. like, you know, what charity is saying, like, okay, he has come to you crying. He's actually you can you can actually know someone that is trying to manipulate you. Like for example, if he comes to you the first time, he's like, Kai, babe, I'm so sorry, I did this and this, and you're like, okay, because because you've gotten to your knees, I forgive you, Cindy. Then the second time he comes again, like he makes this a, a it's it's habit. it's a habit it's now. Habit like work. you know that song that says sorry is a sorry word. Sorry has now become meaningless because he's always saying sorry. Like like yeah, yeah, Kikosa, maybe he comes to you. I'm so sorry I did this and this, I won't repeat again, but then the next day he's there. So Same I thing. think what Ashley is trying to say is right because we can't actually rest on one point, Etisasa. 
it's because he's uh, sorry or something. Okay, yeah. I think all these points interact, all these points merge at some point because uh, for, for someone to be actually committed to you, they have to show all these aspects of themselves. So like uh, if, if, um, if he's not manipulative, let him show you the respect. Let him show you the commitment. Let him show you that uh, I actually need you in my life because if a, if a guy really wants you, I think he, he futurizes with you. Like an attacker, maybe he, he or she, he, he is like crinoline in five years time, I want maybe to take you to Miami Beach. Like he's fisherizing with you. An attacker who could not any other woman are in that position. So I think like uh, you, you, you can really get to understand someone that, uh, that, that is committed to you. Yeah, so actually. So those are how many points so far about five? Yeah. Opening up, respect, is making you your priority. Another point is, uh, I don't know if you ladies have ever found yourself in a situation where you're like, okay, so what are we right now? As in, what is me and you? You, you, yeah. don't, you, you, you like, don't understand. You don't follow what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together for like five months. That's a lot for me. And that's a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you do not know your boyfriend's friends. You do, you've never you guys are just always you and he. As in your your relationship is not progressing. You're just stuck. I mean, you just pop the question. So what are we? Uh, in a serious relationship, you're not supposed to find yourself wondering what you are. So this guy will show you what you are. You know. You will feel what you are from what he is showing you, what he is um, just to show you. I don't have a better word. Um, so, uh, if you ever find yourself wondering what are we, mm -hmm. just drop it. Move on with your life. This is not going to work. Because a man who is serious with you will progress your relationship and will make you understand what you mean to him by dates not just words. Uh, as Crinoline has said, a man who is serious with you thinks of a future with you. He will talk about, let's say for example, a friend um, calls him, uh, hi, will you come to my party tonight? If you hear your boyfriend saying, ah, I don't think we will make it, but he's there saying, we won't make it. Yeah. He thinks he of everything with you. He thinks of the future with you. But I've heard of people who do that fakely, so don't forget to put all these points together. The people who fake that point especially. He talks about us, you and him. He talks about we. He thinks of the future with you. He, you guys will start having conversations like the kind of a house you may want. Um, so what color of um, the bedroom will you like? Such interesting topics in my opinion. That is a guy who wants a future with you. Uh, another point that I have as of now is um, you're his partner. Uh, as in, in everything he does, you are included. When he's making his decisions, his um, important decisions like money decisions money is very important he will bring you in he will ask you so what do you think uh, this is this i'm thinking i don't know i see you come out and put your pesa you see he will bring you in into his life he will make you his partner when he needs someone to go with um somewhere you're always going to be his number one thought when he wants um someone to hang out with you're going to be the one as in you will be his partner, you will be his everything, literally. Uh, yes, these are the points that I can think of as now. So, uh, it, is a tricky, it is a tricky topic. <laughs> as for me, I'm a boy, I'm a man, a gentleman. So what I know about, if a guy is in love, he's in love. Ladies can pretend. That's what I know. I think it is the other way around. <laughs> I think <laughs> men can pretend, but... <laughs> but mm -hmm. if, if ladies can pretend, they can pretend more than boys. So this is how... So, for, for example, my experience with my, with my bestie, she's a very good friend of mine. 
how you are with her and she was talking to her, to her boyfriend and saying like hello babe imagine the mandachama meeting so sita makes her and the same at the same time she's with me so that aside she was protecting herself <laughs> yeah that one that's being toxic so if you love a guy just be frank and tell her oh i'm sorry i'm with my friend somewhere but i don't do anything bad can you talk to him please be frank we'll understand no it's a woman we love second thoughts but at least better day i want to say maga eri shida na kujua si ndio aise mkula kumalize so eri tu sema ukweli kado do it's a woman lakini ata understand ataelewa so mbona udanganyane sema tu kweli sema tu kweli sema baje iko hivi what i know is this if a guy loves you he'll love you he'll do anything for that yeah and sure uh, me i think right there you you just you don't have trust as if you you are doubting you're doubting me if i tell you i'm not coming i will just come when i can come you don't have to ask me where i am who am i what you doing what am i doing i i it is you i'm dating okay that is a phrase that people say like but i don't think you should keep doubting your partner all the time i want to know where you are who you are at the second thought oh my god but you see when when you are in a relationship and you respect someone you don't need to be told to tell them. Uh, you don't need to be asked it will come automatically yeah. i just call you and tell you oh i'm going out with crinolin uh, i won't be able to make it we'll come back at such and such a time it comes out naturally it comes out you don't naturally. have to lie yeah, you don't right. not even lying it, as you uh, you are giving an example of the girl line right yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It means there is some strain it already shows there is some strain in the relationship right yeah. Yeah. because automatically if you respect someone when i was living i would tell you oh very you know uh, i'm hanging out with so and so uh, i might come late or uh, or uh, i'll call you when i'm done and if i value our relationship mm-hmm. maybe i will maybe if what me and you were going to do yeah. was important i'll put our relationship first right yeah. 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 before i go out to attend to my friends yeah. i'll put our relationship will always come first those are the boundaries if we had planned to go somewhere you see yeah i'll have to put our relationship first that means i respect our relationship but here you want to talk about the biggest thing and you want to put a gun at you by the way say you don't want to book a guy you know i had a date with those yeah That's, but that's, again there are people who don't need to forget as in, like for me i you have to remind me we had plans <laughs> i would forget and then you will blame me how so, so, how do you forget so we start it we start it you can ask eh will you forget a, a million dollar deal uh well that's mine yet it's kind of different no, no i'm asking let me frank yes or no is that for no. question will you i went So why will you forget your foreseeable lifetime partner? You see, uh, <laughs> my life it has many things. It, it it's not just you. Yeah. I am looking for money. I am looking for a space in this um society should I say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I am trying to find my place there. You are also there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say today I am a student. So I had classes. I had lecturers stressing me out. I might honestly forget. But if you just text me hi, uh, you remember what? I will not fail you. I will come. Mm-hmm. That's I, that's different. Yeah, okay. That's a different that, that, That's different. Okay. That's, that's different. <laughs> We are talking about you lying of about where of your where about something you are hiding. You, you definitely it. need to quit that relationship. <laughs> Find yourself having to lie where you are. Yeah. Because you surely because uh, when you are in a relationship I think uh I think from my perspective mm-hmm. uh your family members your friends should mm-hmm. know yeah, like yeah. obare should know my friends mm-hmm. I should know obare's friends mm-hmm. such that if I tell obare uh, I'm hanging out with Santo so mm-hmm. they know them uh, he knows yeah. them mm-hmm. and then when the members you come maybe yes you I get it I, 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 you you get it and so when you are lying it means you are creating more ground you know smaller than the lies white lies the logo 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 in your head but what are you doing what what impression are you giving the friends that you are with so like what the lady did to yeah no no actually because she's a lot of the stuff that kept talking about 
Guys, watching, I'm harmless. I'm harmless. I'm harmless. I'm very harmless. She was. I, I respect. I respect her. I respect her. So harakaraka, acha ni some comments zengi apa. So Almas Masongo, Almas watching live from Kisi. So thank you, bro. Teacher Fred Chacha, Chacha. Ah, uh, Sandy, Mas Danila Moja, we see you. James, James, I think this is my friend from Mount Kenya University. James, James Ongoro, feel free, bana. You may be bro. So, wow, to come and say, to talk Dubai. Yeah. Loops. Loops, bana. Is he a girl? Yeah, she's a girl. Oh. I, I think I'll slide later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slide later. Uh -huh. So, for that, guys, that's our, uh, we'll go to a short commercial break will be back so keep it coming ebu changeni manze changeni manze dating we are on dating so what do you think a guy should do to show commitment to show commitment yeah okay. what 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 does somebody need to do to so yani and they only can at least an evaluate relationship you see so to nangoja comments pale Meanwhile, keep them coming, keep them coming. Hello guys, my name is Crinoline Kiriago, introducing Lifestyle Hacks with Crinoline. Come, let's talk about your relationship, your dating, your health, your gender, your masculinity, your toxic relationship and every other thing that surrounds your lifestyle. Join me every other Wednesday at Ikonga TV as we discuss all other issues surrounding your lifestyle. This is Obaru Jr. Your co-host, Asif Vibe, will be hosting this show every Wednesday live from Ikonga TV. Catch us live every Wednesday. Tell me what you need me to do and I will do it. You don't have to go out of our relationship. So in my opinion, uh, the woman someone cheats on you, I'll just forgive them and um, walk out. Go find someone else. So uh, is cheating the deal breaker in the relationship or there are other deal breakers? There are very many deal breakers. There's, uh, it's not just cheating. Uh, it can be someone's behavior, like um, I personally don't like someone who doesn't do hygienic practices. That's my deal breaker. So if I keep telling you, I need you to brush your teeth, and you don't. Uh, but people are different. Everyone has their own deal breaker. What is yours? What is yours? I, I don't know, but mine is hygiene. Mine is cheating. Yes. Yeah. So, Obari, what do you have for us? <laughs> so, actually, ah, it is quite funny. I'm not scared to talk. You see, I'm not scared to talk. Actually, I'm afraid I'm not scared to At least, when they last talk, I'm not scared to talk. So, actually, I've got some comments coming here, flowing, flowing on my WhatsApp number. So, Caleb, Caleb, can I get a visa? Uh, I'm scared because I'm, uh, you don't believe in second chances, isn't it? Yes. So you've had cases like uh, someone who has cheated and made a mistake, but he has and he or she has done the mistake and has come to you. So after forgiving them, but they want second chances to Murudiane. Mm -hmm. So somebody ends up committing suicide. So do you, don't you think it will be it will weigh, weigh on you? Uh, personally, I don't think I should carry your burden for whatever you're feeling. It, it shouldn't be upon me. But the moment I tell you, me, if you cheat on me, when we are dating the first time, I'll tell you, if you cheat on me, that's it. There's no, we try again, it was a mistake. I will tell you. So when you do it, do it, okay, draw the cons eh, co co consequences. consequences. <laughs> <laughs> but then, Obere, you know, yeah. we women, or generally women, are not rehabilitation centers for men. Thank you. We are not rehabilitation centers for men. When this person has committed suicide, there were other underlying issues. issues. Yeah. yeah. There were other underlying issues because by the time you decided to go and cheat, you know, cheating, uh, it is not just uh, sleeping with someone. Teaching, uh, cheating starts with uh, those flirtatious texts, yeah. that hanging out with, with more with, more with uh, the opposite <laughs> partner who is not <laughs> your girlfriend or boyfriend. Or mm -hmm. So, so, so if, if I make a t-shirt, Miss Charity, <laughs> so women are not in the habitation center. So, as Caleb said, it not say it is for men who commit suicide alone. So, let me tell you one thing also. We men are, are not also 
So you, but you see, <laughs> that, is, that is what I was saying about uh, that is what I was saying about uh, emotional manipulation. Yeah. So here comes the body you've cheated. No, I'm 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 it's just an it's example. An <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So true. fine, sorry. Uh, so here comes the boyfriend. He's cheated. I'm a good I'm a beg, I'm a beg for forgiveness. For you, you know cheating is your deal breaker. You say no. And then someone now starts uh, threatening you. Oh, unajo kimiata, I will commit suicide. Oh, ukimiata, eh, nitajua, nitajirusha. What is that? In fact, that, that is, is emotional. Toxic. That mm. is emotional uh, manipulation. Mm. So in a manisha, uh, if there are other deal breakers, maybe there are some other habits you don't like about that person. In a manisha, utakwama mm. your relationship because this person anataka an, kujua an every time uh, you want to walk out from bad habits. So there are other underlying issues. We should not use the, the manipulation or suicide or other excuses for you to stay in toxic relationships. So another question about Thompson Onyingwa from Niranga. Niranga, Thompson Onyingwa. So Anabiza. Hey. Yeah, Grisha was the ladies in the studio. That's Charity and Ashley, Masalimiwa. So he's asking like this. What is your advice on someone when I'm a Catalina Maria Pili. So what should they do? So for example, Menda may cheat, I'm a Rudia Kamam Sama, but I'm a Catalina. What should a normal guy do? There is no bond that is irreplaceable. Yeah. Nothing is irreplaceable. Because of this man who say at him, oh my god, you're my last love. Who won't go two, two weeks later? <laughs> Two weeks later, they will be dating another lady over there, yeah. totally forgotten about you. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm saying, the moment you're told, no, me, I'm done, just go find someone else. There are how many women? Is it seven billion? Whatever. There are very many women that you can always. You don't have to stay in your imagination until you keep hurting yourself because this is the love of your life and you will commit suicide. <laughs> yeah. Then another another thing, sometimes when other relationships end, sometimes it is good to dance to me. It is good to dance. Huh? So uki katabiwa, mtekana kushukuru mungu, maybe that one was not meant for you. Mtekana yeah? kusema, uh, this is just a stepping stone. I need to move on. There is always uh, experiences. These experiences should should enable us to get someone better or be better people. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, um, it, you know, uh, now I know uh, what I did was bad. It, you've made me change. Two weeks later, three weeks later, and Rudy later. That is what happens. Eh? What, 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 what made, what made, for, actually, when you're getting back with a partner who's cheated, you should, once I check, um, you should first check what was the trigger to that cheating. Yeah. Uh, I have a honest opinion of what was the trigger to that cheating. Once you've established what was wrong, that is when you, you'll be able to move on, you'll move away from the triggers. But, oh, it is Asamu Merudiana and you do not want to talk about it, you will not move on. Yeah. yeah. So, if you are watching us, we are live uh, from Konga TV. Uh, we are here at the Conga Super Resort, hosting this show is my girl, Viru Kronaline. So, what do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? So, what should a guy do to, me, to prove that uh, he is serious in that relationship? So, comment on the specific So, meanwhile, the Conga Super Resort is where you belong. This is a place where you can put your partner to swim or Jibambe. Kujapa drinks for those who are above thing. So, Kujapa, Jibambe, Kuja Jibambe, Upper Kunakonga Super Studios, Killer Kitty Kuapa. So, this is where you belong. So, shout out to Mr. Josa Moriasi for hosting us here. So, Krinole. Yes. Someone asked for you specifically, you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's wrong with James. James, James is James JK. Anaulizaje. Uh -huh. Yeah, shout to Miss Kronline, she is killing the show. <laughs> See, come on, the idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anna Oliza Ivy. Hmm? Anna Oliza Ivy is Julia Amiyaka. 
Isha, 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 I'm just missing Bogi. Let me try to say it. I'm here. So now, Liza, I'm James from Mount Kenya University. Now, Liza, Ivy. Suppose, umeenda kwa manzi. Yeah, I'm here to boy. So suppose umeenda kwa manzi. Ukamkatia vizuri. Before you get boxy, ako, alikuwa na dunga vizuri. Alikuwa na kakila kitu vizuri. But aka change. Acha tu move in. Same we move in. Anaza kutini anaza kwa kama mama wa ushago. Anaza kwa babila nataka. Mkienda out mja nabalia vizuri. Mwe kwa nyumba anakubo. So don't you think that is a turn off? It's okay. Before I give our guests uh, to answer that, I would like uh, to shout out to my viewers out there. I can see Victor Patience. You are watching us live from Kisumu. Thanks, Manze. Uh, leave your comment there. Let, let me hear your uh, experience from uh, Kisumu, Victor. Uh, so before I actually give Ashley the opportunity to answer that question, I would also like to ask whether maybe emotional availability, like uh, emotional emotional availability, is it really a sign that someone is committed to you? Like you know, there are those people that you you just feel free to share your emotions with, whether you are so happy or so down. Like you feel like if I share this thing with this someone, maybe I'll, I'll get relieved if it's, if it's a bad situation. And if I share maybe a happy situation with this other person, she, he will actually appreciate me or he will actually, uh, she will appreciate me or he will actually get proud of me. So is emotional availability is a, a sign of uh, someone that is committed to you? Um, in my opinion, I have come to learn that and in my experience, which is very vast, I have come to learn that there are people who should just remain as friends, despite you guys having such a very strong connection. There are friendships when um, you decide now you want to move it to the next level, it just it comes crumbling down. So if you were friends with this person, you guys are very, very, um, what can I say, tight and you share your emotions very much. If you don't want to move it to the next level, don't feel pressured because you understand each other. I think friendship also matters. So you can just keep it friendship. Yeah, you, you don't have to date the person you are emotionally connected with. And then there was another question. Yeah, what is your view of uh, someone that uh, Okay, maybe ni mengia kwa hii relationship nilikuwa nilikuwa wanaitwa aje. Yeah, it nilikuwa na uwa nilikuwa na uwa luku, but once I get into this relationship I actually forget about taking care of myself I can say and then I start uh na naanza tu kuwa vile najisikia maybe kama mama. Is it a turn off for this guy or uh, what what should this person do? It could be if this person was uh, was looking at this chick physically the way she dresses and hey, she, uh, he dies and a kufa too. Alafu akifika uko, hey, vitu ni different. So it means this guy was attracted to this lady because of how she was dressing up or the way she was um, her appearance. Yeah, her. Yes, her appearance. But then women are more than just these dresses and these hairs. Women are um, more than that. <laughs> And uh, I don't think this guy had gone up in the hole with him, like for real. It was more of the physical side than the emotional side. But uh, I think you should take your time to know someone because uh, personally, out here, I will look, uh, I will wear very nice clothes. But I will drop all of them. I have this very baggy black sweatpants. They don't even have the down caban. They're just very and they are so comfortable. That is what I'm going to wear right after this show. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> if someone sees me with that, they will be like, oh my god, this can't be the same person. So you should learn someone, know them, know what they are comfortable with, and you should make yourself comfortable with what they are comfortable with. Because it's the person you want, not the clothes that she wears. Otherwise, there are very many clothes so I can go by and look at them. So another question up uh, from uh, just for Instagram and I will say it. So Miss Charity, suppose so Miss Charity uh, and I will say Miss Charity, I know you are exposed. So most ladies up in jail. So remember this is a girl. Mm -hmm. Most ladies up in jail compared a guy, a guy with nothing but love and a guy with 
cars, we prefer cars. So what do you think, are cars uh, or Mali a sign of love? A sign of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> sign of commitment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like a love, I don't know. Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you see, all this is vanity. You gari kisha, you gari aki iki 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 aribika. What will you do? Uh, what will happen uh, when uh, when maybe he loses his job, he loses his business? What happens when he becomes broke? What will you do? Hmm? So uh, there's so many. There's so many. Um, there's so many points for pointers to a relationship. It is not only the materialistic things that we look at. So, kama kwa nazo hizo tunasemanga ni added benefits. They are not. They are not the main thing. The main thing is the person. Will you be able to work together to build an empire when when he has nothing? So that is what you should look at. Yeah, so guys, you've heard from uh, our two guests, it's been a very confusing, I can say, discussion because there are so many aspects to look at to know that someone is really committed to you. So we are going to take a short break before we come up with the second segment of the session. Uh, when we come back, we are going to talk about gen gender-based violence and uh, we are going to talk uh, about intimate partner violence. Intimate partner violence is, is basically domestic violence. So we are going to see how it manifests itself, how the forms of intimate partner violence in our relationship, in our small circles, in wherever we are, even uh, in our marriages. So kindly don't forget to leave your comment there. Uh, we are live on Facebook and uh, we are live also on YouTube. Kindly post your comment there, post your experience and let us know where you are watching us live from and uh, we can give you a shout out. Thank you.